Hello, Apple Eaters and users. I'm Amanda Cloman, and if you're like me, you're wired on Apple News. What was the key takeaway from the keynote? Aside from the phone call with Dr. Dre, this conference was huge for developers, with Apple introducing a new programming language, Swift, and a new SDK. We'll rummage through all the kit news in this Mobile Minute. Logan, there's an app for that? Well, now there's a kit for that app. By the time Tim Cook exited stage left, we heard about five different kits within the iOS 8 SDK. First came the Health Kit, which promises to revolutionize the way we look at our fitness statistics. Health Kit allows developers to integrate their software with Apple's new wellness app, Health. The Health app is a one-stop shop for all the biometric measurements collected by your Fitbits and Nike Fuel Bands. But where Apple really set itself apart is they're partnering with the Mayo Clinic and other healthcare providers. By teaming up with these hospital systems, Apple is turning your mobile device from a data organizer into a portable doctor. If your health stats get out of whack, your physician will know it and urge you to schedule an appointment. Another kit that caught our eye was the Home Kit. Last year's introduction of the iBeacons was a nice boost to the Internet of Things. And now, Apple's taking it one step further by making it easier to connect automated appliances to your mobile devices. From the Quickset Kivo to the Belkin Wemo, users will be able to control every lock and lamp in their home with the push of a button or a Siri voice command. If your physical well-being and the Internet of Things weren't fun enough, Apple also delighted devs with new features for their gaming kits. A brief demo depicting Canon shooting geometric shapes at a Zeppelin showed us how simple it will be for developers to create casual games using the new and improved Sprite Kit and Scene Kit. The enhanced gameplay is largely thanks to their new tool, Metal. Metal allows developers to take full advantage of the industry-leading A7 chip that's locked inside of the iPhone 5S. Though this keynote was dedicated to software announcements, it doesn't mean some new devices won't leak soon. Speaking of, all of this caffeine is catching up with me. Gotta run, and that's your mobile minute.